First thing we're gonna do here is remove the plastic cover that covers our CPU socket. Afterwards, we're going to use our zero force insertion lever to remove the actual plate that pushes down onto the CPU. Then we're going to open our CPU carefully, make sure we don't touch any contacts below the CPU and also any contacts that are in the socket itself because we don't want to bend any of those pins. One way to make sure that we insert the CPU properly is to align the notches that are there, as you can see. Then we're going to lower it in there carefully and going to use our zero force insertion lever to close it back up. So just take your time with this. Very important because this is very expensive. That CPU at this time I'm recording this was $530 plus tax. So we want to be careful about that. Next, we're going to use uh, install our adapter plate on the back of the motherboard for our water cooling block, which has a self adhesive sticky, which is really cool, makes it a lot easier. Then we're going to use our spacers for the water block that we're going to attach. There are four of them. You can do this by hand. You don't need to use any tools, which is really cool. So we're going to attach that. And then afterwards, we're going to mount our radiator for the, as part of the water cooling. Which in my case, this case allowed me to remove the plate that holds the water cooler or any other fans that you want to attach. So that's really cool. I'm going to remove this and I'm going to attach the radiator, as you can see there. And I'm going to bring it back and show you how that looks like here in a second. And that's how it is. Then I'm going to reattach it and I'm going to run the cables to the back or the other side of the motherboard because that's where the cables are being routed after I attach this. Now we can get to the point where we attach our block. It has a plastic cover. It has a uh, thermal paste attached already on there or applied so we don't have to worry about that. We're going to use the nuts that came with it and then we're going to attach our water block and which we will use a cross pattern um, screw on these for these for these screws or I should say uh, nuts. So make sure you take your time. Don't tighten too much. Just go by hand and go cross sections so it's evenly distributed when it comes to thermal paste and everything else. Once you do that, you should be good to go. 